I'm wondering if it gives a distance because they give you a shooting, the scores for the contest, and uh, Mr. Zobar is at the bottom, oh, near the second to the bottom of the list. Because <laughs> he jumped out at point blank range. <laughs> Ian says, I'm talking stereotypical, not disparaging any French people. Je t'aime la France. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good cover, Ian. <laughs> Yeah, I stereotype Irish and Italian people, and, you know, that's my family, so... <laughs> oh, you're trying to find out if it shows where the shooting range was? I'm trying to figure out if it says about how far the shed might have been. Oh, no, it just says it's directly behind the office. Yeah, and, in the alley. and they said he was shot at point-blank range. It did say that. So it's right near the body. It's a really odd shooting club. Yep. Because you've got corporals, lieutenants... Yep. Knights, captains, counts, colonels, a business person, a PTE, a lord, a French person, and a sergeant. That's pretty weird. He's shooting on his own property. Right? <laughs> Partridge, yes. Good point. Good point. All mentions of nobility, he says. Mm -hmm. Except for the French person. Well, he could be nobility. He could be. I would assume so. It seems like it's a very popular boys club for the rich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what are you thinking? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Not necessarily, because you're all the way down to, you know, a, a corporal what at one we... point. <laughs> you could be a younger corporal brother. Corporal is the top scorer. You could so. be a younger brother. Yeah, Could the be. family. Yeah. So it says high level military nobles, merchant lords, and ambassadors is what he's saying. It's kind of the majority of what you got but there. Whatever. So I think it's right. It's a, like a high level, richy, rich, boys clubby <laughs> kind of jobby type of deal. We all. Some of them. Yeah, but there's really well. Well, Corporal's still we, an officer. He we says. can we can look at it this way. We already know evidence has been fudged. Yes. So what to say that the body wasn't moved? <laughs> It didn't explain because he was shot. No, no, shot they're assuming he was shot at point blank range because the the body was laying five feet from the shed. What if he was shot further from the shed and was moved? There would have been a drag pattern in the blood. They didn't explain the drag pattern in the blood at all. Does it matter in any which way? I mean, well, it if, the, what, us any yeah. if he was shot elsewhere and dumped, though, if, is well, no, no, it, if he was still shot in the same alley oh. and it was if it was raining, if 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 mm. we're getting that the, the weather was bad. I don't know what's the yeah. weather bad. Did we have? I think it says something about it in the competition. It says something about the first stages of it were... Um... But wasn't the competition on the 4th? Well, no, it gives you, like, a summary of the... Oh. Of, like, the... the in the in the meeting for the... Oh, I see. Uh -huh. There's a lot of cholera. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, sorry. In Rome. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it does say that the weather was sucky during this shooting competition. Oh, wait. Near, 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 so near that's this. probably your two... <laughs> He's like, right, shooting competition in the rain people. and the competitors are all sick. Well, no, because those guys weren't there. One of them... Well, Zobar, no, Zobar was. was. Zobar was, but... But the other one wasn't. isn't listed. No, but camp, visit, Zobar. Ah, I see. They mm -hmm. talk to each other. Could be. Yep. And Zobar's near the bottom of the shooting thing. But if it was raining, that would explain no drag pattern. If the blood got washed wet. <coughs> hmm. Of course, the cobblestones are very rough, so if he got dragged, he probably, he probably would have gotten caught, caught on yeah. stuff. So, I mean, without actually checking with the coroner to see if there were anything... anything I guess that means... That's be what the... you wanted to do to begin with. Well, yeah, but we didn't have any... But now we have a good reason to. We have to, a reason though. to check with the coroner Because now. if the body was beat up, then he could have been dragged, dragged to there. Because, I mean, it... I'm only getting at this because it says when the victim approached, he jumped down fire point blank. As you can see, he's just but five feet away from the shed. They yeah. just assume he they was assume shot near this... <laughs> 
And Ian just said, though, he does make a point. He says, who's to say Camp wasn't watching a friend compete, though? So he right. could have gotten sick from a legit... Yeah, because he was wa watching his, 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 his fiancé's uncle, fiance's yes. uncle, who he's good friends so with. So that's, yeah. that's essentially could potentially be an alibi, so mm -hmm. we could go either way with that. Mm -hmm. But I think I think Ian's initial instinct to visit the coroner was probably a good one. Yeah, probably. And now we actually but have reason just... to do so. Where is 5 at on EC? EC... Uh, five is right there. That's right. Office. Right. So office. Old Street is here. Yep. So this is the T junction it's talking yep. about. Yeah, that's Old Street and City Street. Mm -hmm. City Road. To right. Old Street. So about here, cuts the cab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he could probably have should have actually read the times. Well, a lot of it doesn't have anything to do with anything because it's for all ten cases. Right, but <laughs> without reading it, you don't know anything. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, some of the well, like if we had, if we had, like, if we had caught the, like, before we had done any leads, let's just mm -hmm. say we looked at the paper. Yeah. If we had looked at the meeting, we would have known that earlier in the week the weather was crap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure it means anything though. That's the thing. Well, it, it right. might not. Because if one was competing and the rules were just watching, they're both going to be sick. I mean, it could still be relevant. We just have to be well, careful not to latch onto well, it too well, much. You, well, I'm just for if the person was a shooter, we're we are assuming they're a crappy shot because they we are assuming he got shot at point blank range. Well, he doesn't have to. He could be a really good shot, and you can shoot somebody up that yes. he's a good shot. Though, you can point shoot point point somebody at point blank range, and if you suck at it, they don't die. I saw a guy when I worked at at Sounds Easy. We saw a guy at a phone at Dunkin' Donuts shoot yeah. himself in the. Face. He put the gun to his jaw, shot himself to the face, and survived. He walked across the street to, to the hospital. Oh, yeah. We're like, did we just see that? He had an argument with somebody on the phone, shot himself in the face, and then walked to the hospital. Didn't die. Point blank. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm not saying that okay. point blank shirt wouldn't kill but, this guy, but I've seen well, that it doesn't well, always kill someone. We, it doesn't get more point blank than that. With the, armaments, <laughs> I'm, with the armaments they use, if we went and... If we prop if we went and talked to the coroner, we would tell if it was point blank or not. That's because right. If it was, there would be gunpowder and yep, whatnot smoke, on smoke burn. Mm -hmm. And we could also tell if he was moved because yes. the fact that the cobblestones are jagged, mm -hmm. um, it would have either caused some yeah. kind of bruising or marks on the body. It would give us. And some it's entirely like possible he was killed in a different way and then shot point blank to make it look like he was killed. Shot. Yeah. It, he could have strangled or something for all we know. Yeah. Well, the the body I mean, was still warm. Would have yeah. brought that up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he would. Yeah. It was still warm. He probably, if he was still warm and he was outside in, in a, and not a very weather. nice day, not a very nice evening, he probably was actually just shot point blank. Possibly. Well, the, he could have been killed in the office. Like his stupid secretary could have killed him some way, and then brought him out and shot him and dropped a cigarette <laughs> to make look like Raglan did. Well, the thing, like, <laughs> the thing is, if this guy, if this guy who's on oh, patrol, go. we solved a different murder. We know who <laughs> strangled Peter Martin. It was the housekeeper who's, you know, built like a truck. <laughs> that was funny. Ian says, uh, plus Sherlock almost always begins by examining the body. He's mm -hmm. like, from a meta perspective, that's why he keeps Watson around. <laughs> right. It's true. That's why he keeps him around. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to look at this point. We have, I mean... We probably had a good reason to look there first anyway, we but we're not cops, we don't know. Any idea oh. of who we think is actually the person who killed him? I'm torn between Raglan, the brother, and the secretary. Well, the thing is, is we know, we now know that, that the uncle, oh, reasons. <laughs> we can, if the uncle, if the, if, if the Lord knows that the uncle is in on the whole thing, Who's to say that he doesn't, they don't know each other enough that he got a cigarette? Yeah. Or maybe because we, we didn't see him with a, um, a holder. holder doesn't mean he doesn't have one. Mm -hmm. That's true. It could very well mean... But if his, you think it from a game his, perspective, again, oh, yeah. his, his housekeeper kept a cigarette. Well, yeah, because the housekeeper kept yeah. it from him, yeah. Because he shouldn't be smoking because he's sick. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Do you want to go with Ian's idea of the corner? I mean, at, at this point, we mean we, we, we have a person somewhere. we can guess. Well, yes. We, yeah. yeah. We do, yeah. but... Yeah. But at that point... It's, like, at that point, a guess. We're not actually we solving. We're saying we think it's this, but we don't know. The restroom, so... All right. This has been a long debate. <laughs> no, well, I mean... <laughs> it has been. It's, do, where do you want to go? Speak I mean, our... In, point. Our... In, <laughs> our the, the clues so far are that... 
Courtney was sleeping with the Countess. The Count left the embassy at 4.55, which they pointed out, which gives him just enough time to get there and time to shoot him. Yeah, if he's the one who did it. Yeah. He's the only one that's given given us anything to to implicate that. Everybody else has an alibi. Do they? Which, whether it's real or not, (laughs) we don't know, but they haven't given us any other information. I mean, the secretary was there. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's the but other we thing. Have no, if the, if we the have no way of there, getting more information. If the guy was shot there, the secretary would have heard it, but why didn't he report it? Well, no. We we don't know if the secretary was there at night. He was there. He said he was there. He gave him the folder. Oh, no. He no, gave, the he gave the it in the morning. Yeah. That's right. what I'm saying. He, we don't... And yeah. that's the thing. If the guy was if the guy was on patrol, he would have heard the gunshot. Yeah. yeah we should probably still inspect the body because that's what you well, yeah. do. Well, yeah. Well, but that that's my thing. It's like, how far away was he really? Mm-hmm. When he... Yeah. When, if, if it was point blank... Mm-hmm. And this guy was, he found him still warm. He should have been close enough to hear the gunshot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, did, we should he probably didn't hear go to the corner then. Yeah. Just to at least rule that shit yeah. out, and that would help us make a better decision. Yes, it okay. would. Okay, I. So don't worry about Sherlock either way. No. <laughs> so might as well at least oh, no. Get a um, solid win. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying red herring, but go for it. E C. E C. Let's see. We may be lucky. Let's see what it says. Sir Jasper Meeks explained that Alan was shot in the chest at close range, from a distance of two feet, no more. There were extensive powder burns on his overcoat. Do you have the bullet? No, but it must have been of large caliber. The exit wound was massive. Who's the dude on the shotgun? Shot? So, it was Emil. Right? It was so, the one who inherited the company. He had the shotgun? His, yes. His, his butler oh, that came in had the shotgun. Shit. His butler that came in had the... Sh- it was the butler, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so we now have the murder weapon. We we know it's a large caliber bullet. So we went around it a wrong way, right. but yes. it was probably the dude who took over. He's yeah, trying to blame Raglan by dropping the well, cigarette. Well, a shotgun is not a large caliber... Well, 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 it depends on what, he, what it's loaded with. If it's loaded with buckshot, it's a not shot, a it shotgun. It would have been listed as... A shotgun is... He got used, shot with buckshot. Right, though. Yeah. but a I'm, shotgun is often loaded with shot... Yeah. For usually. bird hunting. Yeah. Usually. So, yes, usually it's... That's... It's, it just seems interesting that they brought up the shotgun, if you think of it from game terms. Because we, we haven't... They did. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, butler that's, did it, Ian says. Because <laughs> what... Caps. It was the butler. Because what... Because the contest is rifles, right? Or does it not explain in the in the newspaper what um, the contest is? Oh, there it is. And 60 would, yards? Yeah, I think it was... Um, and with the... With, Rifleman. 60 yards, 1880s, that'd be pretty short for rifle, but it could be, I and guess. Would, would, it be, would you consider the rifle to be a large caliber, caliber round for... It depends on the, the ones rifle. in that time period could have been. It just says the rifleman. It doesn't say what they use specifically. I mean, those aren't shotgun targets. No, they're not. Because so far, the only guns that we uh, we can assume at this point are rifles or the shotgun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First, who has the most to gain is the one who had the rifle, uh, the shotgun. Mm-hmm. Right. He was going to take over anyway. Philip so Marlowe. Marlo. Supposedly, he's going to take over anyway, because yeah. everybody says he was going to was part of the conditions of working there. He doesn't really give crap about Courtney that much. He doesn't hate him, doesn't love him. Yeah. Doesn't seem to really he's care about Raglan anyway. either. He's getting paid regardless. Yep. Um, See, th- this is where it, I wish it had... Because, again, we, it's, a diff- it's a time period we're not... I'm assuming yeah. none of us are familiar with. It'd be nice if they had a list of guns. Yeah. Yeah. Of what would be considered yeah. a large caliber... Or a, a caliber of weapons. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because we can assume shotgun would be large caliber, rifle would be large caliber. Yep. But we have no clue what's a large caliber weapon in 1888. But yeah. you can also probably assume that somebody who has a large caliber weapon is probably someone in 1888, who's from the it's body. It's probably not a pistol. That's yeah, it. I think that's it. That's all that was in that's the paragraph. It. Yeah. yeah. He's just trying to find out those horns. Yep. So. Nope, that's it. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 
Well, Ian, do you want to solve it or do you want to go elsewhere? You are the lead investigator. That was the the corner. That was the, the corner. corner. The corner. Mm -hmm. Jasper Meigs. Mm -hmm. Yep, Jasper says. I'm going to give Ian a second to respond. Oh, I could have gone to Scotland Yarn, too. Yeah, but they suck. They didn't. They didn't get anything right. As far as but, we, we can always go to Sherlock and ask for mis it. Analyze the That's clue true. Too. We could. Yeah. Okay. So Ian says this. He says so. Dot dot dot. And then he stops. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. So he must be typing a big paragraph. Probably. If you want to call Ian, you can put me. I can put you on speaker. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I kind of want to hit one more place before solving just to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Because I'm still torn on like three freaking people. We've... I'm terrible at this game, apparently. I will never play this solo because I will never win, ever. <laughs> We've gone through enough hits at this anyway, point, yeah. Might as well. Really, I think it would be more fun solo, but that's me. It, well, there's less discussion. So, uh, like, yeah. you, it's very easy, I think, sometimes to think, you know, it's like, it's like Mysterium. You know what you want to guess and somebody talks you out of it. <laughs> B and H to we went there, didn't we go there? We didn't to go to the cigarette place. Oh, okay, that's where he wants. Oh to no, go. B. You want to make it to really bad. That's, that's a bad. Play it solo, but give everyone just the addresses. <laughs> <laughs> just to really screw with them. <laughs> oh no, that wouldn't that. work because then you could skip around He's on someone else's on list. Because you could just skip yeah. to the bottom of their list. Well, that yeah, wouldn't be yeah. work. It should be under tobacco. Yeah, it is it's, under tobacco. It's not a. There should unless be. It's found it. Okay. Which tobacconist? There should be one that says. Okay. So sixteen. Sixteen left. Oh, w. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. There's only one B and H tobacco. Yeah. I know you had found it, so I know it was in there. A salesman identifies the cigarette end as that of a Benson Benson and Hedges Imperial. It is quite an expensive brand blend of Turkish and Virginia tobaccos. Very strong, yet very smooth. It's not a cigarette for the casual smoker, but rather for a connoisseur. Imperials are made to order, are they not? Oh, but of course. The Imperial is a relatively <laughs> new brand, and the client list is very small and exclusive. May we see that list? The salesman reaches under the counter and pulls out a small ledger. The list has the following 12 names. Henry Higgins. Eh. <laughs> he he's just he has he's just busy with women. Yes, uh, Sir Clayton Partridge. Well, well. Anna Pantry. Freaking figures. Lord Henry Ragland, who we already Don't knew. We Gregory Cardiff. Yeah. Chester Carley. Richard Mainhart. Yeah. Emil Zobar, who we knew. Mm -hmm. Montgomery Eustace. <laughs> he's laughing. He's like ah, ha, 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 after Partridge. <laughs> Count von Schulenberg. Fuck. Rudolf <laughs> Noble. Gilbert Welsh. Richard Kemp. Well, yeah, because well, we knew he bought it for a birthday so, gift. Partridge and Schulenberg. Yeah, he bought it for a gift. Yeah, yeah. He bought it for, a he, bought it for, for the, um, he said. A meal. Yeah, for a meal. Yeah. Oh, I totally missed that one. Uh, uh, yeah, because he said Emil smoked Schulenberg. Because they asked we, if he smoked and he said no, but Emil does. So Schulenberg and Partridge could still be an issue. Potentially. He didn't mention Re uh, Lord R R Ragland. 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 Oh, Ragland was on yeah. there? Yeah. All right. Higgins, Partridge, Ragland, okay. Cardiff, Ian Curly, says, yeah, I'm Hart, really thinking Lobar, it's the German Jesus. due to the affair. He's, he, we're cycling back to the affair. Do you want to solve it, Ian, or do you think we should check with either of those two characters? We've already checked with one. Partridge? We've checked with three of them. We've we, checked with Partridge. we have not checked with Partridge, and we haven't checked with Schulenberg. Schul right, well, no, those like, are the only two. We, uh, I'm, I I'm mean, saying. for people who we've already investigated mm -hmm. and we are who are already been found in this case, mm -hmm. not going off the people who have we have not even heard of in this case. Mm -hmm. He's good with solving. All right. With the wild goose chase of <laughs> leads. We'll let you if say your done. thoughts first, and then we'll see if everyone agrees in, since you have to type it. Mm-hmm. Partridge, Franklin. If they think the affair is the most straightforward, he says, which is we all thought that. And it was kind of. Um, 
I mean, it is the one that gave us the most lead, uh, the, the the one that we found the most so far in this. Yep. Like, we barely saw and espionage. And we would think that uh, Schulenberg is the one who actually did the murder, right? The Count? The Count. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. We would assume that it would be the Count, yes. All right. Let's go for it. We have to answer some questions. Either him or the other one. Here we go. Lord Dragon. Whoops, that's the solution. We don't want that. We need the questions first. Part one. And you'll need to write these answers down because I have to compare them at the end. Who killed Courtney Allen? We think it is the the guy, the German Count, man. Yeah. Schulenberg. I'm going to go with the other one. So R1. Raglan? Raglan. Raglan. Well, we have to, we're Not solving it together, we're, so we have yeah, to we're all so, decide. Yeah, we're, we're solving it together. I mean, you, you can say that when you read it. We'll find out. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean. Put in parentheses what he wants. He's, he wants to solve outside. Oops. Well, we, no, that that's not be a thing. It's if we were doing a thing, we wouldn't be I doing know. cooperative. Ian yeah. says Schulenberg. We all say Schulenberg, but we want to see if he's right. I, well, you'll find well, out. Well, we'll know. Okay. Yeah, we'll find out. But Why was he murdered? Obviously, the affair. Yeah, the affair. Mm -hmm. I think there's two things. I think it, it was for the affair and because he was dealing outside, possibly dealing that outside would be in an, that circle. It, if it circles in that way, yeah. But I mean, I think I, it, I, yeah, I don't think it was one reason. Was... I think the affair is what pushed him over the yeah. edge. But I think he was already not keen with the guy because of the... Yeah. Because I think he was taunting him about both. You bet, possibly. What is the significance of the message found in Courtney Allen's notebook? The message is... I don't have... Uh, the... We, we have Spaniard at 10. Yeah, Spaniard tonight at 10. I think he was going to sell to him, and that pissed off the German. That's what I think originally got him kind of on his case, and then the affair just sealed the deal. And we know this other one. We already know the answer to this. All right. So we're going to say that Courtney was going to sell Project 10. Not that he... I don't even think that he knew for a fact that he was going to sell. I think he suspected he was going to sell. I think he found out um, that he was going to visit. And, I mean, we could be wrong, but... Because he probably had his wife doing this whole thing to try and get, him to exactly. get it from him. And, yep. Yeah. And so yeah. he found out that he was going to see the Spanish made an assumption. Yeah. Or even knew, like maybe in pillow talk, the guy actually told him, "Nope, I'm going with the Spanish for this, yeah. for whatever reason." Um, and then, what was the reason for Richard Camp's visit to the French embassy? We already know that because he was having the affair with that French woman. He's not having an affair. No, he's engaged. Engaged, sure. it's engaged to yeah. them, yeah. but it's still an illicit affair mm -hmm. because he's not allowed mm -hmm. to do it. Essentially, it is. <clears throat> it is not viewed highly upon by the father of the daughter. Either that, or the Spaniard was going to help them leave the country together. That could be another thing, but I don't think that's what it is. I think it has because they brought up the business so much. I think it. I think it's. I think Beth is more on it. I think. I think he's having the affair. I think she literally was playing him along, uh, and he didn't know it because he was too close to it. And she got the information, gave it to her husband. Her husband killed him. And then we have the part two, which is the bonus. So for part two. Good. Why was the tip of the cigarette found at the scene of the crime pinched all around evenly? I think it's because it's Lord Raglan's yeah. cigarette in the holder. Because it was in a cigarette holder, that's why. Yeah, yeah. it's because it was in a holder. I mean, at least we, apparently we hit leads that gave us to the uh, an answer to the bonuses. Anyway, yeah. for He's like, bonus. I just like offering fun ideas, lol. <laughs> and then maybe put a number two next to those so we know they're the different. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, and then two... Who was Courtney Allen's paramour at the time of his death? Well, it was the chick, the, the Mistress Schulenberg, whatever the fuck her name was. <laughs> Baroness, whatever. Could oh, be. Here's interesting. We did I'm not still get this also going to go okay. with uh, Raglan's wife. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was special about the weapon used to kill Courtney Allen? All we know is that it was, it was large caliber. caliber. Yeah. Well, that would be something special. Yep. Oh, the Countess mm -hmm. Baroness. I think it was a Countess, Ian. Yeah, I think she was a Countess. He's like, whatever. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe uh, it was Project 10. <laughs> what? I don't even understand this question. Okay, hopefully you guys got this one. How could Wiggins easily make 10 pounds? Did he have a bet or something? I don't remember anything Wiggins. about that. Oh, yeah, he, he, made, he made a gesture about... Um, the brother, like how, how would you know? How thing. would you know that he was a part of the stock? I, yeah. I would easily bet that he was because of his hand gestures and the, okay. yep. the thing in his By pocket. By guessing that he was a yep. member of the stock market. Okay. Nice remembrance. All right. Are we ready for the solution? I suppose so. Here we go. The solution. 
We are gathered once again at 221B Baker Street, comparing notes and discussing the case, trying to unravel as many the many threads. Yeah, no shit. When Holmes mm. finally speaks, from the outset it was obvious that the theft of Mr. Allen's wallet was but a decoy for the perpetrator's real intent. We got that. In the first place, it is unlikely, unlikely that a common criminal would have overlooked two valuable rings and the second simple robbery, robbery would not explain the absence of the folder marked SP10A, which is what you, you figured out uh, in the briefcase. But the briefcase was found locked, protests Watson. As far as we know, Alan locked it and it remained so until yourself sprang it open. I might add that I was quite shocked at your adeptness at such larceny. <laughs> To study the criminal is to acquire knowledge of criminal methods. In any case, the murderer must have opened the, the it as evidenced by the spread eagle position of the body and the placement of the briefcase with regard to it. As Alan was shot, his arms described an arc his arms described an arc out and away from the body. The briefcase then appears to have been flung some distance, as indicated by the gouge gouge in the leather, caused by it scraping along the jagged cobbles. Oh, okay, we I missed yeah. that. I knew that. Uh, one. Well, you never brought it up. <laughs> no, I told you the rock. Well, yeah, but you didn't bring it up with this. We all thought that it was Jimmy. Didn't ask. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be helping. During the discussion, you never brought it up. <laughs> I knew uh, it as soon as it said the rock. As Alan was shot, but he still never said anything. Uh, as Alan was shot, his arms described an arc. Oh, I already did that. Uh, the briefing, blah, 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 blah. Um, yet it was found beside the body and more significantly waist high, exactly the right position for the murderer to have retrieved it and brought it, uh, brought it to the key on Alan's catch fob. Knowing that the contents of the folder were central to the murder and that the code stood for special project number 10, a new naval gun for the Admiralty, it was a simple matter to call the two suspects from the cus customer list at Benson and Hedges Imperial brand smokers. The cigarette found at the scene was of course a Benson and Hedges cigarette. He must mean Count von Schulenberg and Emil Zobar, the military attaches from the Germany and France Ventures Wiggins. No, not at all. Remember, all technical data was kept in the Deverell Street plant, folder SP10-A. Like the others in Allen's briefcase contained only administrative data, data that would be of little or no use to foreign power. It could, however, contain something that would be damaging to a company employee. Therefore, the two significant names on the Benson and Hedges list were those of Lord Ragland and Richard Camp. Captain Egan quite unintentionally uh, went a long way towards clearing camp. A visit to the plant completed the job, which we couldn't do because we couldn't find it. Uh, yeah, his, if we could find the camp, that would have probably been a different story. The plant, yeah. Uh, his visits to the French embassy were certainly suspicious, asserts Watson. The photographs on his desk explain them perfectly. Yeah, we, we missed it because we couldn't find the place. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get to see that stuff. The church in the background with the unfinished towers of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Mr. Camp's lady love is French and lives in the French Embassy. Further, I suspect that the lady has some familial, familial relationship with Emile Zobar. The Benson and Hedges Imperiums purchased by Mr. Camp, a cigar smoker, were intended as a gift for Monsieur Zobar. By that process of elimination, then Lord Ragland was our man. But why? Uh, what was the damaging information in the folder, asks Watson. From the cryptic wire sent to Egan, and the note concerning Spaniards intercepted by Allen, um, which, by the way, explains uh, why a note signed A.M. was in Allen's handwriting, mm -hmm. it is clear that Raglan was selling Special Project 10 to a foreign power. Whatever evidence Allen had was in the folder and about to be taken to Captain Egan. I believe Mr. Allen went to the plant that morning to confront Lord Ragland with the evidence, and when he intercepted the note, he saw a chance to catch Ragland and A.M., Alexei Meshkov, that's the guy that was that got hit with the tomato, mm. uh, military attache at the Russian embassy, red-handed. He set up the meeting with Egan and was ready to pounce. Ragland, for his part, was, n was either told of Allen's surprise visit and the intercepted note, or else he detected something amiss with the note itself. He probably waited during the day for the axe to fall, and when he didn't, when it didn't, he realized that Alan was playing a waiting game. He took up a station in the alley, knowing that Alan would come that way and shot him. So, what was the street that so, the that the Devereux. Devereux Devereux. street? Didn't Ian catch that where Alan was suspicious of him? He talked himself out of it, but wasn't he the one who thought that Alan was suspicious of Ragland and was setting him up? For a staying, he was, he was suspicious of both Raglan and Camp. I think he was he suspicious said. of Camp. He said, <laughs> "But yeah, yeah." So we, Alan, Alan is the dead guy. 
Alan's the dead guy. Yeah, Courtney yeah. Allen. Courtney Allen is the dead guy. But we were never able to visit the plant. We didn't get to it, see that information. We, could so have we couldn't seen freaking the, find it. That's it would have been the first, first one of the I wonder first if that's the typo that they're pissed about. <laughs> that might be, because why would he make that jump? Like Because a lot of people talk about Because we couldn't find the plant. It's not listed anywhere. It's well, not on the map. It, it's not in the directory. Unless it's listed in residence, the residence area for some... He's checking, because we looked reason. forever for that. Well, there were three different instances where we wanted to visit the... The plant, and we couldn't yeah, find it. I mean, that's, and so we were, well, we were basically what, operating that's with a huge hole in our some, investigation. I wanted to find some other way of looking at more. Twice. Which one? Public houses. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's weird. weird. Are they under public houses and then like in bars? Oh God! <laughs> no, we, we public houses. No public trouble. houses. No. He solved the case by by following four leads. He first visited the crime scene, the Grant Society of Armaments, which is where we went. So we did it in that order, but we did go there the second place, just like he did. Um, I think, because 5EC was the second one. That was the first one. That was the crime scene. Oh, the crime scene. Yeah, he first was the crime scene. We did that second. Mm -hmm. He then investigated the cigarette butt by going to his maker. We took a while to do that. Yep. Then he met Captain Egan at the Admiralty. We yeah. wanted to do that, and we the, didn't. The thing we is, didn't is go to the Admiralty. somehow he... Because he probably guessed he wouldn't be at the, the place that we assumed he went. So Here's he was, the thing. Mm -hmm. Because he talked to Captain Egan... Captain Egan told him where the Deverell Street Manufacturer's Plant was located. 12 SE. Because he went to Captain Egan, Captain Egan, it says, and thanks to the name of the street obtained by at the Grant Society of Armaments and the Map of London, he finally went to the Deverell Street Manufacturer. 12 SE. Deverell Street. Right next to the face. Egan's like, ah! <laughs> So if we had talked to Captain Egan, mm -hmm. which I think we wanted to, but we talked no, ourselves out no, of it. No, no, we, no. We went to the place that we assumed he was, and we were told He was by, at the Admiralty, and yeah. we never went to the Admiralty. We never went to the Admiralty. You were the one who originally told us to, and we talked you out of it. No. no we no, didn't talk he, out of it. No, he said, he said go to the, he said Egan, and we did. And no. Egan was at home. Yeah, but then he and looked we up and follow. found the Admiralty for us. We just no. didn't do it. Yes, he did. We absolutely did. Because I was going to do it on my turn, by the time we got there, you guys had found some other stuff that I thought was interesting. So... The weird thing is, is that Holmes didn't even think that he'd be home. Yeah. Right. Yep. Well, he's he works for the Admiralty. He should be working. Yeah. Yep. Well, again, so this he, is all happening at whatever yeah. time of day, so he this could be This is kind home. of like Mysterium in a way, because we our guts told us to do some of those things, but we talked ourselves out of it um, in some well, of the, these instances. The, we to were be right honest, then. if we had seen this, this stuff, we would have known. Listed. This yeah, should not it, be like some hit. We knew the street. Yeah. The street should... We should know where this building is. Yep. They gave us the information for this building. I know. And yeah. that could be the typo. That could we be the typo because he had to go to a different... grimy manufacturing environment of the Deverell Street plant. Yep. yep. But the thing is, that could be the typo. That could mm -hmm. be the issue. Because yeah, that people is have issue. said that this one and there's another case, I think case three, that has a typo in it. Because... And I, mean, I think that could be it. It could be it. It could not be it. Well, because... No, because we were given the street name at yep. the start of the case. Yeah. We couldn't find it. <laughs> But if we had followed up kind of the way that you had suggested early on, I mean, you were torn. You had other ideas, well, but, but if you, we the, had gone the, to the Admiralty like you suggested, the, well, the, well, we would have gotten some info. The thing is, is if we had this information, yep. if we had, if we could have found this building, because we were trying to come here first. Yeah, I know. If we went to 12 first, yep. this would have pointed to the captain. We would have gone and found the captain. And at the plant, we would have found out nobody at the plant knew that he wasn't working on it anymore. So it would have confirmed our thoughts that he was lying. Because we thought he was lying. So, yeah, there has to Mr. be some uh, yeah, huge... He was called away. Yeah, we would yeah. have known for sure. Because we thought he was, we just weren't yeah. sure. So you're was... looking at 12 South... Uh, 12 South Yep. Yep. Because they're right there next to the South Mr. <laughs> Allen visits. Yeah. Mr. Allen visits. I thought it was weird, so I remember. Mr. Allen comes to see his nibs. Or, Sir Ragland. But he weren't here. Mr. Allen says he'll wait in his office. Wow. Do you know why Mr. Allen came to see Lord Ragland? Now, I wouldn't be knowing their business, but it was most likely about Project Number 10, it being secret and all. There was hangers on around the plant, foreigners and whatnot. Do you know what transpired when Lord Ragland returned? What? Well, he never did return. At least the way he's not before Mr. Allen left. I was called away, and when I gets back, Mr. Allen, he hands me a note. Says, it come for Lord Ragland, and I was to make sure he gets it. He also says that he'll see Lord Raglan some other time, and perhaps it's best I don't even mention that he come by. <laughs> Lord Raglan was in a bit later, stayed for a couple of hours, and left for the day. Odd it was. 
Now the ground workman enters and informs Kibo of some problem with a piece of machinery. I'll be back in a moment, gents. Why don't you wait in Lord Raglan's office? Left to our own devices when Kibo and the workers leave, we can't help but notice a drawer in Raglan's desk partially open. And of course, we can't help but peek in. We do not discover much of interest, only a stack of invoices and a bundle of stock certificates. Ha! <laughs> okay. One of the invoices <laughs> is from Radford Jones & Co. for 140 guineas. It is dated September 5th, 1887 and stamped paid March 10th, 1888. The stock certificates are in 5,000 share denominations for several different companies. Among them, Rafferty Paper Mills and Stevenson Ironworks. We managed to close the drawer just before Kibo returns. Just, just to let you know that it is in none of the businesses. I know, that's what I'm saying. The only way you can get it is from a clue. A little and kick in the slots always does the clues. trick. Now, where were we? That's a very impressive Here's thing. Here's the thing. We still would have not beat Sherlock, but we would have solved it properly if we, we would have your path. Probably, we would have probably tied. If we had known where this was, because we That's were tied. We, we, we would have tied. Yeah. We would have tied if we had, if we had, If we had gone we to the Admiralty, as you had suggested, we would have gone there. We, it would well, have saved us a lot of time. Well, no, well, the, the, we wouldn't have done it in four. No. But no. <laughs> my thing was is, this was going to be the first place we looked at. I know, but yeah. what I'm sa- uh, regardless, it's not set up that way. So yeah. if we had followed your... On turn three, you were saying we well, should go to the Admiralty and we didn't. <laughs> I'm saying that this place, it is listed on a map, which means it should be listed in a I directory. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying, just looking back, I get that it's not, but it's still solvable if we had just I mean, gone with your instinct. It, I mean, you're, yes, I'm, I'm not and denying that. we would that. have solved it probably in five I'm or saying for a mechanic. So how about the rest of it? <laughs> well, we got a lot of the, we got a lot of the things, right? Yeah, we still lost the game, though. So yeah. we didn't really get the bonuses. Right. But I, we got I, a lot of those. I right, had because... the right culprit. <laughs> you got what? <laughs> yes, you got that. Why was he murdered? The affair? No. Nope. Nope. Because he was okay. about to tell him, he was about to tell the Lord Ra- uh, Captain Egan that he was selling state secrets. So it was the espionage, yeah. right? Because yeah, so which he, means you still lost. Yeah, yep. and the significance of the message—that's yeah. where the where the the, the sale was going to take place. Yeah, we so, got that, but yeah, sort of. Kind of. And we got and, that. And we, that was but, but, a weird way. But that's we had the wrong person thing. selling, it's, but we had it that. Is, if this is the supposed to be for the, camps, the for the French for everything on that, this right? map. Supposed to be the bonus, there be the no missing holder, address. Right? Oh no, I agree. I, I absolutely. Sorry. This is one of the things that people are yeah, yeah, yeah. about some of the cases that are in here. Who is the Paramore? We were right. Cal just wants to look at the 1980 okay. version. Yeah. They are. Yep. So, uh, the, but it's a mistake. The, but the thing is, it, it no, sucks. No, because no, we it doesn't seem like it's a mistake. It seems like it is a purpose thing yeah. the developers did. Yeah, it is the grants a side. Because it's they wanted to hide it in a secret. Yeah, maybe it was too easy before and people complained. Is that different than grant But the thing is, is... You should yeah, not, if know. it's supposed to be a secret, this was don't tell arms. us the street yeah. name of the fucking thing where it's yeah. at. How could yeah. Wiggins easily make pounds? True. I know. Oh. I know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. How could Wiggins easily make ten pounds? Returning the earring to Countess von Schulenberg. Oh, there's an ad in the paper. Oh, that's right, because she was missing. I forgot. Oh. Wait, what was the Is earring, it? though? Because I thought it was a ruby ring. No, no she had, we found her We found her earring. Oh, that's right. I was speaking they of the They, left, that. they yeah. left it at the inn. At yeah. The, yeah. Where they were, I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten one as that. We were way off. Yeah. <laughs> but I still like the game. I oh, think yeah. this is really interesting. He's, he's like, this was thin. Fun! <laughs> it is a cool game. I yeah, like it's a... how you bridge through like the different things. I definitely would like to play it again. Yeah, um, yeah I totally agree with you. Not I'm not saying I well, don't yeah, no. agree with you. I'm yeah. just saying it's kicking me in the ass because of the fact that if we had just done what well, yeah. you suggested... And I grant you suggested it offhandly. We could have gone to it back to it. We just forgot about it. Well, yeah. And, and, oh, and, that if we had just been like, yeah, let's do that thing, we totally would have solved it. Yeah. Because but... I was suspicious of him spread it to the end. I was just like, well, let's just solve it. I'm going to go yeah. from the Schulenberg. But I mean, it's just... Where's the thing about the return to earring? Uh, there should be... It might be on the other side. in the Because okay. these are the top uh, articles. There is. It's on the other side. There's a thing. There's two things like a lost something or other, or no, somebody's looking for a maid. Personal. And then lost somebody's earring. Looking, yep. Ten pound reward. Lost earrings. Ha. Eardrop encircled by emeralds. Take it. To Here's you. the sad thing. I oh. read that and forgot. You know what else? This gives you her address. Whose address? I assume the that's Schulenberg's. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Fifty-one Cardigan Southwest. We never really wanted to. Talk well, to on the right side, so. two of our two of our leads don't count because it specifically says. Certain leads don't count in your yep. score. Oh, okay. Had so, gone. going to Captain Egan's home doesn't count. Yeah. So, we could have just gone to the animal day and it, w- it wouldn't have counted as two leads. It would have been just one. Which so we almost nice could have come across. Yeah. Well, we probably would have gotten minus five points. Well, wow. Well, I, I'm, but 
just just for the sake of the fact that the thing is is if we if again if the game didn't if it's if it's an oversight or if it's the developers screwing with the players <laughs> We would have either tied or beat Holmes and Leeds. Yeah, because we're gonna go if, first. Because this was the first location we were going to go. And uh, what I think happens, yeah. I think, I think that's why they. I might be wrong. I don't know these guys, but mm -hmm. I wonder if that's why they left it in a clue because they don't want you to just be like, well, "Let's go there. The Game's thing, over in twenty minutes." The thing know? is, that's the they, point. If I they know. didn't, want, I know. I'm just. Well, I'm, you're gonna have to email them because well, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, but that's the thing, though. If they didn't want you to even think about it. It shouldn't be there. It should not be mentioned. The street yeah. name should not be mentioned. Yeah. What if the street name being mentioned is the typo? Yeah. I mean, it it could be. Or I mean, well, it, and or it could just it's, be, it's right there. It's literally the only building on on that street. On yeah. that street. Well, and that's we the thing. We find though. that street. That's the thing. That's yeah. the problem. Because there's we because, go by the numbers. Well, the thing like right. you don't go by the street names. I mean, we could have like t if we wanted to waste a whole bunch of time on stream. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, we could have grabbed the map. <laughs> And just sat here for 10, 20 minutes. She tried. I know. I mean, but I was look. I was not. And it doesn't. Sound I was like, trying not to look at every single thing. And that's it would have thing. taken forever. That's what Plus, I meant. Like you yeah. had no idea. For all you know, it could have been over here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing. Though. That's what I meant. Like we could have, yeah. if we really wanted to investigate the plant first thing, yeah. and waste time on stream, we could have yeah. spent ten to twenty minutes just scouring this map until yeah. we found this stupid street. <laughs> that's true. I still think this. But game for is the fun. sakes of the, but for the sake of the stream, we can't do that. Yeah. Yep. Nope. You can't sit here and just look eh. at the map. It's a clock <laughs> game. You're supposed to lose. Well, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I understand that. Much. But it's fun. It's. I yeah. still thought it was fun. I yeah. love the process that. Yeah. You, I just you go think that play it. if this is if this is a if this is an oversight, that yeah, there's no way to know right now. I never yeah. look. Um, if it's but, a typo, okay. If it's the developers hiding information, that's not okay. I doubt it's, de it's developers hiding information because they didn't allegedly they didn't really try to change anything in the game when they brought it over or when they updated it from yeah. the, the it was brought over from a different country and then it was updated from the 1980s version. I don't believe yeah. they tried to change anything. So I think if if <sighs> it's a mistake, it's a mistake. Yeah. If, otherwise, the d original developer intended it that way. Yeah. But I don't know. Um, I oh, still love the game. It, I think it's a really interesting games. deduction game. Yeah. Um, I like the process that you go through, and yeah, you can screw up, but I like that that can happen, that it's just well, yeah. that discussion. It's, we don't have a lot of games like no. that, so. I mean, it just, it's just the infuriating thing of, this is the place we wanted to go right away. Yep. We knew this is an important place. What makes it most infuriating to me is that you pegged where we should have gone, and we did other things because we had other leads that we wanted to investigate. Yeah, and, and if we had just... gone where we wanted to go first, we would have gone. But, but what I'm saying is, he, he had a good right. reason to go to oh, yeah. Captain Egan, if we, went, and we just dropped yeah, it. If we go no through reason. the leads that we had, <laughs> if we go through the leads that we actually did do, yes, we should have gone to the. We should have gone to the admiral to finish off that lead, and we didn't. But to do, but to go the way that we were actually going to go, we wouldn't even have to go to the captain. I get it. I get it. But I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. It, it, we would have been fine mm -hmm. if we had just finished that lead. We just never did because we're like, well, there's other stuff. And it's nobody's fault. I mean, it just happens. Oh, but yeah. I just It's a little bit of a kick yeah. in the pants when I think about it because I'm like, ah, we almost went there. We even almost said, let's go there. And mm -hmm. then we changed our mind mm -hmm. because there were other things that were also that we wanted to investigate. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's annoying because I wanted to investigate some people more, but there was no way to do it based on the information they provided. Yep. yep. Oh well, I still think it was fun. Hope you guys had a good time.